All right, welcome back to another episode of Stories from the Unbound Shores, where we last left off. The group had had a run-in with some stone uh, construct of some kind that seemed to be uh, targeting Eskel specifically. Uh, but they were able to avoid them rather than destroy them and wait for someone from the uh, Gnomish village to come out and meet them in hopes of, you know, some form of, you know, negotiation to be had along with an escort into the city so that they don't get, you know, attacked again. And I believe we... Uh, the last thing we were doing was heading towards the city, but we haven't left quite yet. If there's anything else you guys want to do on this screen, or, like, during the, uh, trip. Uh, no, we had just been trying to gather information about the elementals and how we might, uh, meet with them. And wave at them as they rage at us. And hope that they talk to us. Mostly. Because you've got tongues, right? No, I have comprehend languages. Better than nothing. What have I got? <laughs> I don't have any languages that are going to help us. Uh, he'll, uh, uh, Nyx, uh, she will point to a, uh, somewhat large hill to the, um, east, uh, and say, there's a clearing over there, and with that hill's height, you should be able to, if they don't come, if they don't, you know, come to you, which they might, as they generally come from that direction, uh, then you should be able to see them from there, as the the hill kind of sticks above the trees. And I do believe last time we were told that they were very certain that a attack was soon to come. Yes, within the next few days. Well, we don't have a few days, so we're going to have to hurry things along. Uh. So, I think that we should enter the village here, make sure that the people know we're here to help, before heading over to that hilltop. That's what I think. Oh. Doesn't sound like a bad idea. It's also getting pretty late. You may want to set out after you get some rest. It'll be a, a little bit of a walk before we get to the village. Late for us or late for them? Uh, early for them, late for you. Gotcha. But, you know, it could still be referred to as late. I wouldn't say no to resting and recovering use of my spells. I have used one spell so far. <laughs> well, whoopee for you. Yeah. I've still got, like, five spells left. I have three. So. If we expect there to need to be combat, it is probably best for us to all be at our um, most rested. However, that's going to take even more time. Yeah, exactly, because we want to be at our most rested when we go to deal with the Forgotten Fortress. So, we have... I've got five spell slots. What have you got, Dirk? Uh, I've used a single first-level spell slot. Same. So, I think that it's probably a better bet to... We, we, will pro we should assume we might have to fight. We should try not to fight. 
And then, if we can solve this problem today, then we can rest here in the village and head to the Forgotten Fortress at our peak. Rather than waiting until tomorrow, air quotes, fighting and then heading to the Forgotten Fortress after fighting. Very well. You've got three, I've got five, he's got five. Uh, uh, blanking on names. Oh, Aurelian? Aurelian, Aurelian. What kind of resources are you drawing off of? Hold on just a second. Are you good? Okay. No, it's probably with the headset. Um, resources in terms of. In terms of daily resources. We have spell slots that we run off of. And we've got 13 uh, left between the three of us. I can cast prestidigitation. And that's I've not got a, a daily. That's a, that's a cantrip. But I'm talking about daily resources. Uh. I don't know. Yes, you do. Not out of character. He doesn't. Does does he in character not understand how his daily resources work? No. Oh. Okay. Very well. Uh, I'm gonna lump you with the uh, rogue then. Uh, you're fine. So, we've got 13 spell slots between the three of us. that we can do a lot of things non-combat as well as combat with. So I think we have a good shot of avoiding combat. And if we don't avoid combat, we still have a good number of resources we can pump into, I don't know, smites. I probably need to recast Mage Armor. Wait, did I recast it when we got here? I think so. I I'm pretty you sure did. you did. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. I think you'll. I think you'll be fine. Uh, I've forgotten the gnome's name. Nix. Nix, right? That's why I knew it was a name that had been used for a gnome before. I just couldn't remember what. All right, Nix. If we go to deal with the elementals immediately, can Amara stay here while we do that? That's fine by me. Good. Then, um, just let your people know that followers of Bahamut are here to protect them, and we're going to go try to deal with the problem for you. All right. Well, if you're going to go deal with it immediately. Uh, here, hand me your map. Uh, uh, I produce a regular map. Do you have anything um, cl closer in on the um, on the woods here? Anything more detailed? No, I have this map. Well. Then she'll kind of launch into describing a few places to avoid if you don't want to set off more uh, constructs. Okay. As long as they, she, they, I don't remember. She. She. Um, it can specifically uh, describe the areas and how to avoid them. That should be fine. I thought we put a mark on Esquil that the constructs will leave them alone. Does that only work for these constructs here? Uh, it it should work for the others, but every once in a while, some of them go a bit haywire. So, uh, avoiding them would be best. Okay. Um, Amara, are you comfortable staying here with Nyx? In, she's going to take you to the village. Um, yeah, I, I think that'd be fine. Perfect. We'll be back. Probably. Alright, so... 
These two head off to the north. Oh, I kidnapped an owl by accident. <laughs> Excuse you, I'm not going back to the village. Why, what's wrong with the village? That was being set out of character. Am I extremely glad that Discord has the push-to-talk function? Absolutely. This way, y'all don't have to hear me cough like crazy. Indeed. I love push-to-talk when it's useful. Alright. Did she give us any indication of how far... I'm sure she gave us indication of how far away. Um, do I need to cast before we start moving, or can I kind of cast um, Comprehend Languages as we start? Uh, how minutes. long does it last? It takes ten minutes and it lasts an hour? Alright, then you're going to cast it after a couple hours of walking. Oh, Jesus. Okay. It's, it's about two hours away. It's not close, but it's big, so it's easy to see from a distance. Alright. Oh, that's fun. So, uh, maybe at the base of the hill, cast it, and then we'll climb the hill. Sounds good. Alright. So, we walk two hours, she casts, and then we go up the hill. Alright. Assuming uh, nothing, you know, tries to kill us along the way. I would Which anything try to kill us along the way. Oh, you know. We're us! We're amazing! Yeah. Amazing? Maybe. I'm amazing. Lots of things have already tried to kill us. Nothing succeeded. It's true. But it still tried. Eh. And that was the argument at hand. Eh. Alright. Um. So what order are you guys going in? What's the, uh, the formation here? Well, since I want to try opening arguments, I'll go first. Okay, so I'll be in the rear. <clears throat> That would be near the back. I guess I'm kind of middle, unless Aurelian feels strongly about being the middle. Uh, uh, near the front, I suppose. Not the actual front. How's that? Yep. Dude. I to be okay, fine. Side. You can walk over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go. Why are you upside down? You're all upside down. Maybe I'm about you're all sideways. <laughs> Rude. Alright, so as you guys uh, begin to walk, the skies will um, start to darken, even though it's, uh, it's starting to become daybreak, as uh, a storm seems to be rolling in. Cool, I'm going to start casting Comprehend Languages. I can always recast it if I need to. Mm. I will probably say something to the effect of looks like this could be trouble as we the storm starts rolling in and I start casting. Air elementals controlling the weather. Interesting. Yeah, if only we were friends. Maybe we can be. Maybe it's friendly. <laughs> it's the quenchiest. Mushy giant friend. <laughs> Carrying on. Is that the top of the hill? We'd have to go up this. Yep, you would need to either go up this path here or go around to the north. I see. 
All right. So well, no actually attacked us yet. We made it here. Correct. You've made it here, and things seem to be fine. But uh, the longer you walked, uh, the closer the storm has gotten, and it's starting to rain, and you hear some thunder in the distance. Wonderful. <laughs> it's just got like my shield up over my head to deflect raindrops. I'm just periodically casting Prestidigitation to dry myself. Owl would probably wince at the sound of thunder, but... Alright. Well, I think I see some very natural-looking stairs over there, and we were told to go up the hill, so... Why don't we... Why don't we do that? Alright, I'm gonna recast Comprehend Languages, because I assume it's it's been a while since the storm. Yeah, we should... Make sure that you have the ritual completed before we start up the stairs. Okay, you can... You would need to recast it, but that takes, what, 10, 11 minutes? 10 minutes, 11 minutes. Uh, 10 minutes. Oof, God. That's an action. <laughs> All right. So, ten minutes pass by, storm gets closer, you hear, hear a th few more thunderclaps. Shall we then? And you have now cast your spell. Shall we then? Oh, yes, I see. We already shall. We're already shalling. Musica. Yes. Thank you. Storm in here. All right. So let's go up these stairs. Combo like ambiance. Combiance. Is Aurelian also heading over there, or is he? Uh... Aurelian. Where are we? Oh, there we are. Is Al going as well? As much as she hates the thunder, she would follow. Alright. Feel free for you guys may make your way uh, up the hill. Yep. Errors. Errors. So there are these. Craggy, natural-looking stairs. Does it look like somebody built these? Uh, nature formed them? Uh, it looks like they are... They are, like, you know, man-made, but, you know, they're not, like, cut or anything. It's mostly just kind of stones that were convenient sizes that have been, you know, stacked and, you know, fit together to make stairs. Wonder if some <clears throat> people had a place of worship here, or if this is like some druid circle. What do I see as I get to the top? <clears throat> You'll see these uh, eight stone pillars. And, <clears throat> you know, you'll just see for uh, 
quite a ways around since you're now high above the uh, trees that would be close by, just not on this map. Um, and you don't you don't see anything um, you know, hostile. The only thing that seems to be standing out at the moment is the the, the eight pillars. That seem to be kind of uh, old and vine covered. Yes. Approach to investigate one. All right. Say, Mel, have you ever seen anything like these? Let's find out. Gotta dig out my dice. All right. Uh, you can roll investigation, history, or arcana. Any might apply here, or legend, actually, for that matter. I think they're all the same number. <laughs> they totally are. Ooh, a natural 20. That means my investigation is a 19. Well, all right. Cool. So. And you got 12, you said? Yep. All right. Yeah, that 19 so, sounded pretty good now, isn't it? I never said it didn't. No, oh, but Al woofed. Mm. What? Oh. Oops. Um, so with a 19 on investigation, uh, you look around at some of the pillars and you're able to clear away some of the vines, uh, and you see a small room in a language you don't understand, I believe. Let me check your sheet. Or. Or. Building. Oh, goodness. Well, there's a lot of languages that you don't speak. Shush! <laughs> I speak so many languages. I believe you. I mean, I speak many languages, and there are still a great many that I don't speak, so it's nothing against you, of course. Uh, oh. Wrong button. It's, uh, like, turning to Melisari and, like, snapping a finger as I'm trying to remember. Comprehend languages that would allow you to read them? It should. There's something for me to read. I will take a peek. Yeah, I've got something over here. I can't read it. I need to check something real quick. I just need to know what script this language uses, actually. I'm waiting on the voice in the sky to tell me what I know. Yep. Anything. Yeah, it just, it just occurred to me that my answer to Trist may have been slightly inaccurate, so I need to know what script this language uses. Uh, I think uh, Druidic has its own script. Primordial might also have its own script, but some use Elven. I think Sylvan use it, uses Elven, so it's that thing you get something, but I need to see what the others. Uh, character details, that's probably where I put it. When I use Comprehend Next. Languages and I can understand them, I can still recognize them as what they are, correct? No. no. You understand the little meaning of what's being said, but <clears throat> through the magic you don't understand like what language it is like you like i think for character's sake i'll let you understand if it's a language you already know but if it's not then they all just kind of come across the same okay it does say that you're touching the surface upon which words are written that's fine okay so unless it's sylvan in which case i don't i don't need to like i just read it um let me see something uh, I think I have to default here to the 4th edition books. I can... I know um, it's written. Alright, I'm then. Now I'm just checking what languages players speak. 
Uh, do you point this, like, sigil out to anyone else, or...? I pointed it out uh -huh. to Melissa, right? All right. Because I figured that either she could read it, or she could read it using a spell, but either way, she could read it. Yep. And unless anybody Even else though the anything. question was directed... Sorry, Kate, go ahead. No, it's fine. I was just saying, if no one else approaches, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put my finger on it and read it. <laughs> uh, Al would just be peeking over somebody's shoulder. Let's see. Oh. Right. So? This is Primordial uses a very different script. Yeah, Primordial <clears throat> uses Dwarven. Uh... Sylvan uses Elvish, and, you know, Druidic is Druidic. So, uh, you place your hand on the rune, and you're able to... Uh, read it, and it seems to be a rune with the literal meaning of air. It just says air. I will go pillar to pillar, though, and, you know, look for similar things and read them off. Just air. What are the other pillars got to say? Um, let me Google up some quick, like, simon, like, sin hymns, I think is what I'm looking for. Anonymous. Yeah. Other well, ways of saying the same thing. Nanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanam
tentacled touch, really? Yeah. God. <laughs> you never heard that song? The Sea and Anomaly? No. Oh, it's very funny. Yeah, man. Air, egress, path, strength. Is it like those four in um counterclockwise or clockwise? Uh, it wouldn't. You know what? I will just do it this way. Oh, that's not what I want. I want text. Big, bigger text. I mean, I'm not an expert in any of this, but just given those words, my guess is that we're looking at a pathway between the material plane and the elemental plane of air. It seems reasonable to explain why the elementals keep showing up, and also why they keep showing up from here, or from a, a single place. Mm -hmm. So I would be careful about standing in the middle, Melisari. Nah. Not saying that in character, actually. <laughs> Just continuing to peer around. Because you might not want to accidentally end up on the elemental plane of air. Uh, and both Dirk and Aurelion, once you just see these runes, while they mean slightly different words to you, uh, they'd still be synonym like synonyms of the, the same words, so it, it would be close to the same, but not quite. As these are technically dwarvish runes. Or more accurately, I guess, probably dwarvish runes are likely primordial. Wait, it's primordial? Um, well, yes. Or not. Because yes. I, I don't speak primordial, never mind. That was great. Yeah, I had checked your languages. Yeah, I, for I forgot that. Um... You don't know. I forgot that I was casting Comprehend Languages to be able to speak Primordial, not that I already had Primordial. To be able to read listen any to language. Listen, you know what I mean. Understand. Comprehend Languages was, was to read. Actually, I guess it is listen, isn't it? Yes. Well, read and listen. Yeah. With Comprehend Languages and Tongues, communicate. Um, my 12 in investigation slash history slash arcana didn't tell me anything, I'm well, assuming. You, you, you can still roll for the history and arcana, you just didn't find the runes on your own. Esco, I have to point them out. Oh, I see. Okay. My investigation um, was arcana. amazing. Arcana says 22. Alright. Then, uh, you likely haven't seen a, you know planar portal yourself uh, but these runes do like the runes and their arrangement and the um, you know unnatural arrangement of the pillars does seem to suggest some sort of along with you know, the meaning of the words some sort of gateway then at long last I shall say to Eskel that seems to be accurate or at the very least, a very reasonable assessment. I mean, I would like a chance to speak with the air elementals to see if we can them stop their aggression, but if that's not the case, in your expert arcane opinion, do you think that perhaps moving one of these stones uh, would prevent this place from functioning as a portal? Do I, Derek? Um, let's see. 22, 22 on Arcana. 
Yeah, you know, I'm I'm just kind of weighing the things here because that wasn't originally my uh, weighing of the DC here. <laughs> uh, it is possible that movements or destruction of one of these pillars or ruins may disrupt it. Uh, but it's also possible that there's like more here. Like, uh, have you taken any interest in like? Elemental portals before. That is a good question. There's also a good likelihood you could piss them off. If they're upset and can't make it over here, that doesn't really matter. As, you know, time and talking and investigation goes on, you know, the storm will start to pick up, rain will fall heavier, winds will start to howl. But if they're pissed off and they can find another way through, they're going to be more pissed off. Sure, I, I, I wouldn't want to do anything but... to this place until we talk to them. And determine that uh, they couldn't do anything about it. Aurelion. Yes? You travel around and see things and write stories, right? <laughs> yeah, I do, yeah. Songs and the like. Have you ever seen anything like this? I'm gonna move a bit closer. History. History. I'm gonna do a complete lap of, like, the thing. And then... So, I do need an answer to my question, uh, I'm sorry. I... I... don't think so... Alright, then the information you have does not change. Alright, so Aurelion does a circuit of the tall stones. How tall are they? Like 10 feet? 5 feet? 12 feet? I was thinking about 8. <coughs> 8 feet tall. Covered in vines and growth and moss and lichen and the like. And also etched with these uh, dwarvish looking runes. So, am I rolling history? Uh, you may. Uh, well, what are you trying to learn? To see if I've seen anything like this before. Then yeah, that'd be history. I don't seem to remember. That's a five. Yeah. Your travels never really took you to the, uh, like, far out of the way places where you might encounter things like this. You tend to, you know, be traveling from city to city and, you know, trying to perform and yeah. make money. So That's you're not like... familiar with... Anything like this? Uh, no. Sorry, I've never seen anything like these before. Oh. Okay. Well, neither am I. But, with uh, Melisari's knowledge and just the kind of feel of the place, my gut is telling me this is where they're coming from. So, we were told that uh, if we come up on top of the hill, we should be able to see the elementals. Do I imagine that there's like a gathering of them below the hill somewhere, maybe? Like, uh, maybe out there. You look around, you don't see any as of yet. No, uh, sorry. As you continue, I at least from my understanding, you continue uh, investigating the runes. Yeah, I'm gonna be investigating around here, maybe trying to clear some vines away. 
then uh, you'll see them start to faintly glow uh, uh, the northern half glowing um, white and the southern half half glowing blue interesting hmm? we may have incoming I'm gonna step outside uh, draw my weapon same I'm going to make my way around um, to where the weapon-wielding people are. <laughs> okay. You may do so. Mm, look at the cliff edge behind me and go, we should move to where we have more space. Yeah, I'm going yeah. to... Oh, As you oh. say that, um, the winds will pick up and you'll see them kind of start to swirl in this uh, within this ring uh, making visibility somewhat difficult uh, you may still move but you know move to the northwest all right now if memory serves this I need this 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 Dead west, not east. North. East. So, that's somewhat representative of the uh, the winds. They'll be obscuring vision within there. Damn, there's like no place to fucking hide. Not on this empty hill, no. I don't like it. You could maybe hide over here. The uh, cliff is somewhat short. You can kind of peek up and over. Yeah, I'm just thankful for the storm. I might do that then. Why are you thankful for this water in your eyes whipping around? Because it's easier to deal with than the sun. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Alright. Is there good, Derek? Yep, that's fine. Cool. Uh, and then with a clap of thunder, you'll see uh, a lightning bolt descend from the sky and strike the center of the um, kind of dome of wind that has, you know, occurred. And with that, it uh, dissipates. And you'll see a tall, uh, muscular, blue woman dressed in kind of flowing, uh, a flowing silk garment, uh, standing uh, where the winds once were. Again? I'm squinting at her in confusion. And rolling something. Hang on, I gotta get rid of my yogurt. Knowledge planes. Wait, that doesn't exist anymore. That's usually just Arcana now. Yeah. yeah. I'm good at that. Oh yeah, me too. It kind of, for me, it depends on the plane. If it's like one of the, like, deity domains, it's religion. But if it's like, you know, an elemental plane or something, that's gonna be Arcana. Alright, I got a five. I got a four. High five. Um, I have a plus one to that, so... Mel, you've still got tongues on, right? Kate went to go take care of her yogurt. Oh, yogurt. I think, we... she, has, I think she cast Comprehend Language. Yes, Comprehend Language. Oh, does that mean we lost tongues? Because they're both concentration spells? We, we don't I don't have, have tongues. <laughs> You had tongues. No. no. Tongues is comprehend language, but better. Yeah, I do not. No, have tongues doesn't actually can't languages. read. No. <laughs> so, T yeah. Tongues is not comprehend language, but I'm better. Tongues crazy. only lets other people understand you. It does not let you understand them. Actually, it, it it does let you understand other people. You just can't read text. Okay. Anyway, so I'm rolling Arcana. 
All right, what for? Um, to apparently not know what the fuck she is, I got a nine. Okay. Anybody else? Some of the paladins rolls. <laughs> awesome. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go with Al. Can't quite see from where they are standing. Uh, I'll rally no, on. perhaps not. But Ash is definitely appreciating the choice of art. She's quite a uh, quite something. A scimitar. Uh, Avralion, do you wish to make any rolls, or shall I continue? Uh, let's say it is, um... If you want to know about this creature, please roll Arcana. Mm, not great at Arcana. So, um, what do I know with a whopping two? But the same as everybody else, Jack and Squat. Oh, oh that lady blue. So, between the four of you, if you add it all up, you get a 20. <laughs> we did really well. You got a five. Great. Oh, boy. Okay. So, um, Melisari, you will... Melisari and Eskel, since you guys have a clear line of sight, uh, you will see that the creature begins casting a spell. Oh, I don't have casting a spell. Paladins don't get counter spell. I'm thinking. Like, I don't want to piss it off if it's not already pissed off, but like, opening with a strong spell is always a thing. And I don't know that I want to deal with things if it's a strong thing. I I'm down with you not letting it cast a spell so that we can hopefully talk to it. <laughs> I'm just worried it's going to piss it off, but I'm at, I am going to counterspell. You're going to counterspell? I am. Alright, let me see what level this is cast at. Never heard about that part. Um, right, I gotta open a new tab. Do -do -do -do. I was about to ask what level counter spell you're casting at, but we only have up to third levels, or you only have up to third level spells, so. Correct. Alright. This thing here. Oh. Oops. It's saved for when I was screwing around. Save. Yeah, just one, not a thousand. Hmm? Nothing. Uh, okay. This thing, it's casting... This? Alright. You managed to successfully counterspell, um, what they were casting. As it wasn't something that would have a, a physical effect you can see, you're not sure what you counterspelled. Hey. Uh... Okay, now talk. <laughs> You got this. <laughs> it's not like it. I don't even know what she what to call her. Just say hello. Start with ma'am. <laughs> yes. I was under the impression that you guys were talking, and I was just going to be at translating. I uh, things. As you counter spell her, know. her spell, um, she's just going to look at you and. Loud, well, kind of a, a puff of air, just kind of blow the hair that was in her face, kind of back up and out of the way. Apologies, and we just want to be sure that we can talk to you. She begins casting a spell. Damn it. <laughs> Are you out of third level slots? Ah, third level slots, I told you. <laughs> uh, if we could have a moment of your time, miss. I'm just gonna roll down the line of languages and say basically the same thing. Abyssal, right. common. I'll start with common, then sylvan, then elvish, then draconic, then abyssal. Okay, I'm gonna right. go with common. 
Uh, right before you get to uh, Draconic, she will have gotten through um, casting her spell. I'll say, all right, could you repeat that now that I have, can actually understand what you're saying? Oh, thank God. <laughs> or thank my gods, I guess. Um, we just wanted to speak with you and see if we can come to an understanding between us. That's generally the case when people are here waiting for us. Waiting for you. But... Uh, Counter-spelling my, my casting of tongues was rather rude. I apologize. We didn't want to risk the possibility of you casting a significantly less friendly spell. We know nothing about you, of course. We... But I appreciate your effort to speak with us. We represent a nearby village who says that the elementals here have been aggressing them, so we were concerned that you would not be in a speaking mood immediately. I didn't see any gnomes among you. Other words, things may have turned out differently. Can you help us understand what your problem with the gnomes is? <sighs> so they didn't tell you before sending you here. They, what we know is that they have been living in these woods, protecting themselves with constructs for many years from the undead that ravage the plains here. You'll see her uh, visibly grow a, a little bit. Like, you're not sure if it's angry, upset, but an unpleasant emotion crosses her face when you mention the constructs. We understand and fight the constructs specifically. But perhaps we can improve all of our understanding of the situation? Do you know how it is that they make these constructs, as you call them? Mel, shaking my head. Um, Do they what? trap elementals? Well, what somebody gets points. Good. Yes. They are powered with my trapped brethren. That is what keeps them functioning. I can see how that would be a problem. Most of theirs do not, but it's the golems specifically. They've trapped the different souls and forms of elementals so that their creations may continue indefinitely. Can those souls and forms be released back to their original form? Yes, with the destruction of the constructs, but they just keep building more. You've tried to get your hands on their main creator, but have failed. He always seems to slip away by the time we get through his guardians. To the best of our knowledge, the constructs that they're using are specifically to protect their village from the wilds here, especially the undead. If... is there some way that we could forge some sort of agreement between the two of you? As they simply want protection, if we can return your elementals that they've taken to you, could you be that protection? You want us to protect the people that have been... You want me to protect the people that have been enslaving my kind? Well... We'd make sure they wouldn't be doing it ever again. And what promise can you make of that? What proof do you have? Well, my friend, I say, indicating Dirk, uh, and I are servants of the god Bahamut. And we seek justice, so we would seek justice for your people. I think they mean what happens if we leave. We guarantee that they no longer... They don't just resume the going to have a very stern talking with that... Uh, the, 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 the construct creator. I don't think talking will work. As we tried it, I don't think many of them 
knew what it was that powered their golems at first. But now they do, and they still continue their creation. I just have to force them to move their operations, then. Or they won't need elemental, uh, elemental uh, constructs. Some of their constructs are made without the force of an elemental behind them. Are the... Those we have no problem with. Okay. And frankly, they can even keep one of the breed of Golem and it traps the Dow. I have no care for them. The Dow? Yeah, what? It's an Earth Spirit. Um. I suspect the, uh. Earth Spirits may disagree with that sentiment. I'm yes, getting... I expect they would, but they're not the ones here fighting to free the rest of us. Fair enough. Regardless, if we can convince them to leave the golems off completely. Yeah. Yeah, I think that our problem is going to be with gnomes and not the elementals. Yes. But that's good. I mean, ultimately. I have not had dealings with an elemental before, and I didn't know what to expect. This was good. This was very good. Okay. Had it been a pure elemental, or anyone not as um, new to this conflict as I, you may have had a different um, conversation on your hands. Uh, if one at all. May we ask to whom we speak? I am Ira. Ira. Well, we don't have the, a name for the group. Ira the Mighty, in particular. Well. Would you grant us the time we need to go speak to the gnomes with the new information, and we will impress upon them the importance of releasing your brethren? I know that the air elementals are supposedly gathering to strike again soon. I will not comment on that one way or the other. Should your negotiations fail, I must fall back to our previous plans. Indeed. Well, we shall make sure that they do not fail. We were confused about who were the oppressed people in this conflict. Now that we have been set straight, we will make it right in the name of Bahamut. It seems with the undead roaming this continent, this world's protectors have been busy. So it's fallen to us to settle our our own matters. Indeed. Well, I know that the devoted of the Raven Queen are trying to stop the undead at this time, but there are many of the uh, fallen order of Nerul causing trouble. Who is this Raven Queen you speak of? It is a new conflict, but the reason for the undead here are that the the god of death was destroyed, and a new goddess of death has risen to power. I see. And this is the blood conflict that follows such a change of hands. It was good to, to know that this has taken place. Our kind don't exactly age, or deal with death or undeath, and till an act upon by an outside force. So it's not something we would learn easily. Uh, again, Ira, 
greatly appreciate you speaking with us so that we can put this to rights. It is going to take us some time to travel back unless you know a faster way to travel. I think I can help with that so long as you're going on my behalf. Indeed. I, I look to the others. You agree that this is the proper course of action? You wouldn't see, Al. For the record. I look to those around me. I am uh, suppressing a smile and saying, yes, I am amenable to this. One moment. Dirk hasn't wasted any uh, descent. Got one thing. So, uh, as Amateur she says, one moment, you'll see uh, a circle of winds begin to uh, arise up in this uh, corner over here where Ah was hiding as she's raised into the air. <laughs> Somebody saw her. Oh dear. And why is it you are hiding, child? I'll just cry. I, uh... Ash does not know a proper response to this at the moment, because I'm trying to wrap my head around the fact that she is right in front of me. Right. Uh, I'd also like to point out, in case this was unclear, everyone can understand her uh, through efforts of her spell. Yeah, tongues. Okay. Yeah. I would just be trying to find words at this point. <laughs> she is very flustered. And she will um, actually carry you with the wind and uh, of the course of a few seconds and uh, set you down over here. We need... Thank you. We need to learn that tongue spell now. It is on my list of things to do. She looks rather annoyed. I wish I had a list of things I could do. Do you have a list of things you can do, I would assume? Well, it is not. Oh, I thought you said a general list of things you oh, can no, do. Oh, no, I, I... He was... I, he did... He was very vague, but he he was saying in reference to your, your list of things to do is... He, he imagined was a... Sorry. I imagine that was a, a list of spells to learn. Yes. Imagine he has a list of spells he can learn too. I do, but tongues isn't on it. Keep us vague. I'm surprised it's not part of like I'm surprised it's not like one of the devotion spells. Yeah, it's not. It's bard, cleric, sorcerer, warlock, wizard. So basically everything but paladin. And ranger. Yeah, but ranger doesn't get anything. And druid. Oh, druid, yeah. Alright, um... Well... There's a... hasty escort you're wishing. Uh, stand still. And I can, uh... Let you use the wind to your advantage. Achieve my sword. However... My tongues will have worn off the likely worn off for the time you return, and I can only cast it one more time this day. If you so counterspell me, I will assume... I will be forced to assume that negotiations have broken down. Is this understood? It is understood. I look Very well. Fish. But no counterspelling, got it. She'll move to here and begin casting a spell. Uh, I also mutter, mutter to Eskel, see, I told you. Alright. Um, 
I didn't know. We none of us knew. I'm sorry. As you're not uh, focusing on counterspelling, and this spell does take a minute to cast, with your ability to understand primordial, you know that the spell she's casting is Windwalk. Neat. So, uh, for those of you that don't know what it does offhand, which I expect is most, if not all of you, uh, you and up to ten willing creatures you can see within range, assume a uh, gaseous form for the duration, appearing as wisps of cloud. While in this form, the creature has a flying speed of 300 feet and resistance to damage from non-magical weapons. This is so fucking cool! The only action a creature can take in this form are the dash action or the action to revert to its normal form. Reverting takes one minute, during which a creature is incapacitated and cannot move. Until the spell ends, a creature can revert to cloud form, which also requires the one minute transformation. Uh, if a creature is in, uh, like, and this will actually be her explaining it after she's cast the spell. Uh, if a creature is in cloud form and flying when the effect ends, the creature sends at 60 feet per round for one minute until it lands, which it does safely. If it cannot land after one minute, the creature falls the remaining distance. It will last for eight hours. It does not require my concentration. So, unless someone is to dispel you, you should be able to use this to get around for quite some time. This is freaking rad! And so, like, uh, an out of character, you know that with the ludicrous speed this gives you, along with the ability to take a direct path, you'll cut the multiple hour travel time down to minutes. Yeah. Yeah, it lasts for eight hours. Nice. Because you're literally traveling ten times faster in a straight line. Mm -hmm. Love it. Hang on, I need to see how hard I'm fangirling. <laughs> no one can see how hard you're fangirling. We're all in gaseous form. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Uh, I mean, you still look like, at least in my version here, you're going to look like yourselves, but just as cloud, cloud. like cloud versions. Cloud people. I am not containing my excitement, Will. I'm like vibrating with excitement. Grinning. <laughs> uh, you'll Careful, see you don't want to grinning. evaporate. You'll see Ira somewhat grinning at this, um response this is fucking cool 68 miles an hour part, but <laughs> if you dash. is that with or without dashing that's with Your dashing cars. with dashing now imagine if you had haste where you could extra dash and have double speed <laughs> we are cars now except we fly we are hover cars yeah i don't know cars Wait, do we have a hover? It doesn't say anything about hover. That's a that's not a thing in fifth. Everything oh. that flies can hover, I think. Um, okay. that's that's the way I run it. But I have seen like one, maybe two creatures that does say hover after, and I don't know why. Because I mean, be incapacitated and not fall. Hmm. I guess that. Otherwise, could be as long as you. Like, otherwise you just stay in the air normally. Yeah. Like, as long as you can still move. I think that's what hover means. Yeah, it's only yeah. confusing to us because in 4 it was very different. Yeah. Because yeah. normal flying, you had to land, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Um, there was there were two two kinds of things. Like, it was either that you had to land at the end of a movement, which was a different kind of flying, and then there was flying with and without hover, which was. You didn't have to land at the end of a movement, but you had to move a minimum of 10 feet every round, or else you fell. So you couldn't stay in one place without hover. One tip before you go. Should you wish to be undetected by most, if you clump together they may mis and move slowly, they may mistake you for a cloud. Oh. 
Oh, Is that necessarily a bad thing, though? We will need to descend into the village to speak with them and regain our corporeal forms. We may want to regain corporeal form outside of the villi village, though. I don't know. So, I think the effect of showing up in air ele elemental form with the air elemental is going to make the point pretty quick that they should listen. I think that might make the point that they should attack. That is my concern as well. They may be right. way to solve the problem if we destroy their guards and put an end to the one who's doing this. They won't be able to do it anymore. It's true. I have, I have yet to have had any outside assistance, so I know I know not how they'll react to your hmm, being afflicted with my boon. Well, I would like to end this without ending the person. I say this to Ira and Dirk, so hopefully we can. We'll see. If he must. Shall we then? Yes. I can fly. I am. I am shooting up in the air, and I'm doing some rolls, and I'm enjoying myself. Don't shoot up. We need you sober. I don't think I can shoot up in Gash's form. Just putting that out there. Stuff just dissolves in you. What if you just, like, inhale some stuff? Yeah. Can I inhale in Gash's form? I, mean, I don't just think I have it. lungs right now. You can just walk into it, and then the, the gas becomes a part of you. It's basically the same thing as inhaling it. Yeah. Um, oh. Since it doesn't say you don't have to breathe, you, do act you can actually inhale, in fact, you need to. That's weird. That is weird. How do I inhale without lungs? Without proper, like, physical lungs with, with I, I'm structure. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that the answer is magic. Yes. But uh, negative um... pressure is necessary for filling lungs. I am not capable of producing negative pressure as a gas. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say my, my answer again, but mm. it's magic. <laughs> I reject your answer. The, the wizard should understand that magic is weird. <laughs> The wizard does understand. Anyway, the wizard is is enjoying herself and waiting for everyone else to come and come join her in the air. I would join. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Unlike say uh, gaseous form, <clears throat> it doesn't say that you can't talk or manipulate objects, so you can still like, interact with things, but you're also a cloud, it's a weird line. Though it also says that you can't take any actions other than dash. Yeah. So, so anything that would be an action. I suppose. I don't know. It's a weird line. I don't know why these two spells are so different when they effectively do the same thing just to a different number of people. All right. Uh, yeah. All right. This is uh, this is you now. Oh, Nimbus. says, I'll be waiting for your return. Oh, I thought you were going with us. Uh, if I go with you, I expect negotiations will break down quickly. Indeed. It is better that I leave it to your behalf and behalf for you to be able to return. If you're not back by this time tomorrow, though, I will continue with my original plan. Understood. Eric, be ready for me to tag you in. I suspect Dirk is always ready for that. I mean, he generally is hoping I will tag him in, usually before I start speaking. 
And I will say, yes, this may prove helpful in negotiations. The next plan will be far more aggressive than previous ones. Make sure they keep that in mind. Definitely appreciate the heads up. Uh, I'm just going to move over there. And away we go. Oh, I think Amara's going to be sad. Watch okay. that. Oh. I'd have to break up her dream city. Oh. Ow. Ow. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna use this because it's just yeah. this is not as representative as someone just grabbed quick last time. So let's use I'll just use kind of the, the vignette instead. So the buildings would look a bit more sophisticated than this, but kind of like the, the lighting tr and trees and things would be a much better uh, indication of what the place would be like. Built in tall tree cover to kind of like you would suspect to provide protection from any flying creatures that might spot them. Uh, and for you, Tris, in particular, as I don't want the artist's, the artist's signature to get cut out, careful around uh, zoom 60 or 70 as it tends to screw with uh, cutting off the edges a little bit. All right, went up to 80. Eighty should be fine. So, uh, I will still copy over um, character portraits so you have people to talk to. Uh, so you guys arrive, uh, and so do you, uh, Cloud. Like, you untransformed before the city, like in the woods, or in the city? I know what I want, but other people... Four would be my recommendation. <laughs> I do not wish to be mistaken for an air elemental. This is weird. <laughs> yeah, I, I turned off the grid. Snap. <laughs> yeah, I, I turned off the grid as this is just a, a picture. It's not like a, a battle grid or anything. But this lets you guys, you know, still dork around if you want to. And Trippy. let me represent who all is here. We should um, talk to this chicken. The chicken does not talk to you. <gasps> How rude. That is Although a it's been less chicken. than an hour, can I understand the chicken if it starts talking to them? Um, yeah, if it starts talking to someone, you'd be able to understand the chicken. <laughs> but these are not magical chickens, so... Nix, we need to find Nix. Transform and we go to the village. I suppose we probably should have gotten a better description of which particular golems are the problem. Uh, I'm... We should stop them making all of them. Mm. Well, if one of the other types just imprisons a different Well, but entity. I think she was saying that the constructs, like the little ones that we fought earlier, or avoided fighting earlier, did not, but the golems are powered by elementals. Yeah, there are, there is a type of construct here that is not powered by elementals at all. Nyx! <sighs> Back so soon. Indeed. Did you lose your way? What Not happened? at all. We had a lovely chat with an air elemental named Ira. 
I see. And she is very willing to let this village alone. Mm, that is good news. It is. There's just one thing that you need to do in order to ensure peace between you. She'll give you a somewhat grim look. Who is she to come with conditions? She's the one that started attacking us. She started attacking you because you've been using elementals to make your golems. Recognition does cross her face, but no, like, surprise. You will need Inside. to release... You will need to release the trapped elementals from all of your golems. You can keep your constructs that don't use them. And then there shall be peace. You're I'm watching her closely, Insight 21. <laughs> Alright, what is it you're trying to learn? Just I want to, to see, was she aware? Um, and kind of, I guess still tell in her response now um, how honest she's being with us, I guess, in general. Okay. I will give you an answer to that after she gets the chance to speak. Um, so, she'll say, and what do you expect us to do? Just sit here and die defenseless? Seems that you have plenty of constructs and ways to create more that don't involve the use of elementals. But none would... that can survive, none that can be fixed. You can't fix the constructs. My understanding was that you hadn't been able to because of time constraints. It's it's part of both. One, they break faster than we can repair the ones that can actually be repaired, but most cannot. I actually made a new from scratch. And why not move your people someplace safe? Where you won't need the constructs. Because we don't have the resources to move this many people that far. Especially not safely, even with... Even if we still had our golems. You've been out there. You know what dangers lurk in these woods, or at least some of them. How many are you? About a thousand. Alzid is several days' journey. I think about nine. Through the woods to the east from here. Port City, where you can find either a way to live there or passage elsewhere. We're going to be heading there to leave this place once our business is concluded. If only that were an option. Well, you're going to have to make it an option. It's not. They won't... They don't... Allow our kind to exist there. They only respect strength. What one can... Do with their forearm, not their mind. Well, it is a port city that can give you passage elsewhere. But I can't let you go on enslaving these elementals, who are sentient beings. Even if we were inclined to allow you, the air elementals are not. As, obviously, you have seen. Eventually, they will win. I have... What makes you say that? We've been winning so far. Call it an educated guess. We've been informed, directly, that they are going to be ruthless in their next attack. And so I have come to you with information and a proposition, as I am trying to protect everyone in this situation. I am sworn to the Platinum Dragon Bahamut, try and help people in need. But you have turned out to be the oppressor in this situation, so now I'm giving you an ultimatum. 
Either you deconstruct your golems that include the use of elementals, and prepare to move your people to El Zid with us as your escort, or we will dis uh, disassemble them for you. You wouldn't be able to if you tried. And it doesn't matter if we go to El Zid, we wouldn't have a way to leave. We <laughs> Most of these people can't afford it, that's why they're still here. We will make this work. And how is it you think you'll manage that? Well, my friend and I are direct representatives of the Temple of Bahamut, and you would then be people in need. We would help you. He kind of scoffs at the notion. You would help us. No one has helped us. That's why we are here. Because we've been on our own from the start. Well, I haven't seen any other followers of Bahamut here, so maybe that's why. But we're here now. But we cannot help you as long as you are the oppressors. Let's... let's say I somehow talk them into... ...dismantling the golems. Just how... like, what would be your plan to get us off this rock? going to escort you to Al Zid once our dealings at the Forgotten Fortress are concluded. We will come back here, gather everyone, and march a column the nine days to this port. We will arrange for the temple to help us with their affair to get you anywhere else in the world you want to be. Of course, it should be noted that this ultim ultimatum doesn't go away just because you leave here. You're not going to be enslaving any other races. Or beings. I nod. Does she say that? We do it out of necessity, not out of... reckless abandon. You were informed before by the elementals that what you were doing was wrong and wouldn't be tolerated, and you chose to continue doing it. We didn't know at first. But just... then you did. And by that point, we'd come to rely on it. It was all we had left to defend ourselves. Raid, that's not an acceptable excuse. You're putting your people in danger by having these things and angering the elementals anyway. You're not safe with them. And we're more, in more trouble without them. You said you got along well enough without them before. You have come to rely on them. You can come to unrely on them. That was back when there were still more of us. We were able to make more and make them more quickly. You have the information. Either you will disassemble them and come with us or we will disassemble them and leave you here with nothing. If you want to try and disassemble one, you may be my guest, but it won't let you and you will not succeed. Oh, I did misspeak. We would disassemble them and leave your people here with nothing. You'll get to deal with my friend Dirk. Dirk will smile. He's not going to let you make any more. I'm not the one making them, I'm just the one you're talking to. The best I can make is this. And she gestures towards the Shield Guardian. Who's the one that makes these? Golems, as we've been referring to them as. Uh, I forgot to name him real quick. One second.
His name is Alastong. Well, I encourage you t to tell your friend that he's not my friend. Propose this ultimatum, and you must choose between the two. Otherwise, as Cole's right, Dirk will have his way, and we will be done here. A, he is not my friend, and B, no, he wouldn't. If you want to talk to him, be my guest. Take us to him. I'll have him escort you. And she has the Shulgarian start um, moving. I see. Kind of takes you down a path deeper into the city. That's on my head. Now it's going to be lopsided, though, because it's on my head and your head, and I'm much shorter than you. <laughs> New shoes. Sorry. Uh, one second. I need a second gnome pick. I only had the one, apparently. Uh, that'll work. That's weird. Here, I guess I have to grab something else. Cycles. That pipe just seems unnecessary. Yeah, he's big. Well, he's not actually that big. I just wanted to be able to. I want you guys to see what he looks like, roughly. Bigger than the gall. So big. Uh, and as you uh, come, like as you move, you'll be. Uh, kind of what looks to be like a, a town square, although it's a circle, with, uh, a st with a stone statue standing in the middle. And you'll see him, uh, like, you know, basically at the base of it. And, and so, you know, the Shield Golem will walk up to him and stop. And turn... Sideways, so I can look at the both of you. Who, who are you? Well, that outsider's in here. What do you want? I immediately forgot his name. Alistair. Right. A L S T O N. <laughs> Alistair. Wait, Alston? Alistair. He said it's A L S T O N. Yeah, pronounce Yeah, right. Alas. Yeah, also Tuck. the L extra name. Yeah. Uh, Alston is like a name of a town nearby here. No, Alliston. <clears throat> You're Alliston, correct? Who's asking? A couple of followers of Bahamut who have agreed to help your village. 
Oh, good. <sighs> Problems that way. Have fun. Unfortunately, we can't help your village while you are oppressing elementals. But once you stop oppressing elementals, we would be happy to carry out Bahamut's will and protect you. And just who told you we were doing that? An elemental named Ira, armed by your friend Nyx. Last of that woman. Is for her? Played things fine. So you just. What? Expect us to roll over and die? Well, if you don't listen to us, that's probably what'll happen, yeah. I find that unlikely. Look. Here's how this is going to go. You are going to release the elementals that you have trapped in your constructs, your golems. Because if you don't, the elementals are going to come here and destroy you with a greater force than they've used in the past. And we're not going to stop them. Actually, we're going to help them. You wouldn't be able to help them if you tried. So you say. But I know for a fact that the, fa that the air elementals wield lightning, which causes your constructs to not work. Maybe not work as well, but they'll still function. You'll still die. As will you. Not likely. We made friends Our constructs are immune to your weapons. You'll have no chance against them. Are they immune to magic weapons? I ask what, with a very think... serious look on my face. What, you think we make these things for fun? That's why we have them. It's one of the few things that can keep the undead off of our backs. I didn't know undead wield magic weapons. Some do. Specifically, that one that I was informed you were hunting. Oh, well, lucky we are going to hunt him, then. He won't there are be others. Anymore. And I doubt that. We've killed him before. It doesn't stay that way. We're aware. The Revenant. But we know how to deal with revenants. Not the revenant. But I'd like to come back to the part where we're not here to help you right now. You are the bad guys. And that's bad for you. Because... Dirk is a lot less chatty than I am, and I'm about out of words. So I'm at the point where I say, you value your lives and the lives of all of your villagers, you're going to decommission the constructs that include elemental souls. You're going to wait for us to finish our dealings in the Forgotten Fortress, and then we're all going to take a nice, long, friendly walk to the port of El Zid, where the, we will arrange for the Temple of Bahamut to find you to go wherever you like that isn't here and continue not fucking with elementals for the rest of your life. <laughs> you expect me to believe that some little turd like you could actually arrange passage for a thousand people on short notice along with safe passage to the most dangerous place in the world. I mean... Or you could try to do it without my help. I don't intend to do it with or without your help. We're staying here. Oh, that'll be a fun Unless time you can offer without... a better alternative. I mean, I did. I did offer No, a you didn't. You offered death or threat of death, which wouldn't come to pass. Be confident. The air elemental. Um, I will to. say, I am not entirely opposed to a negotiation, but you need to offer me something of use, not a death sentence. I'm offering and you a death promises. sentence. I 
I told you I'm out of words. Dirk, kill him. Roll initiative. I got some my D20s. Fuck yes. Let me use... Oh yeah, we need to pull the thing, don't we? Let me see if I can find a city square for this. When we were on before? Uh, well, no, because there's something... I was looking for a little something different. Okay, apparently that's not an actual city. Hold on a second. That's a very big gnome. Yeah, I'll shrink him down once I get on the actual battle map. I rolled a 17 on die for initiative. It's nice. Nice. <laughs> Well, I got a 16. Yeah. <laughs> I rolled a 14 on dying, got a 17. I rolled an 18 on dying, got a 20. Oh, mine's, mine was an 18 plus with my plus. <laughs> that work. I almost. I already almost attacked him once. I'm ready. I, I was waiting patiently. Yeah, I I also was, but it it was a close thing. Oh shit! We also have to worry about the construct. Great. I mean, I'm not sure if we need to worry about that one, but we probably need to worry about other ones. <laughs> this is true. <gasps> I'm just getting the map set up, and then I'll drop you guys in. I'm not interested in negotiating with unrepentant tyrants. You know, he's an ass. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm not sure I would go so far as to call him a tyrant. However, he is an oppressor, and he is not backing down. His reasons for doing so are now irrelevant. I mean, he was saying he was open to other options. <laughs> but you had to give him something better than you're going to die if we, if you do this or if you don't do this. Cause I mean, that's, that, not that's what was going to happen, though. Because if... If we didn't, if he didn't turn them off, then the elementals would continue to just fight back harder. Because yes. when they die, they come back. Already struggling. <laughs> just pissing off more and more elementals every time they fight. And he's being dumb. I don't like dumb people. It's fine. We'll get the rest of them to Alzid. One fewer people to uh, <laughs> book passage for. <laughs> I am going to be right back. I'm going to get a glass of water. Murder hobos. Oh, no. no. I know, but it's how we probably look to them. That's fine. <laughs> We spoke and negotiated with the reasonable people until we found the not reasonable person, and now we deal with the not reasonable person. Alright, so... Alright, almost ready. Just gonna shrink this down a little. Aurelian! Ah, oh, oh, fucking hell. Aurelian. Say what? <laughs> you okay with what's going on? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Mm. <laughs> uh, snare. That gets deleted. I need... 
this right here. All right, now I need to get you guys. I almost get the feeling we're going to die here. Um. All right, one last touch that I can move you guys over. Okay, uh, you guys can, you know, move your character a couple of feet if you like. Ugh, it's gonna make me do this shit again. Get myself on the... Does that say 13? Because that was changed. your first roll. No, my first roll and only roll was 17. Oh. Okay. I, the, I rolled initiative at 13 to try and get myself on the turn order, and the turn order hadn't been created yet. Yeah. Well, it had. It's just you can't uh, add yourself to a, uh, the, the turn counter when you're on the, a different page from the one it's being set up on. I mean, I did that 10 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm aware. It, it was It was open. Just on a different page. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. And so then I rolled again to get myself once I was moved to the page where it was. Gave me a okay. 19. We can roll that. 17. Let me build this encounter real quick. Counter on overall initiative. Blood for the blood god, skulls for the skull throne. Yeah. 
Not for the blood oh, I like. actually only finally learned where that's actually from recently. Mm -hmm. I just knew it was a thing. Warhammer. Indeed. <clears throat> it's unclear if the gods. Yeah, the Chaos Gods in Warhammer Fantasy and Warhammer 40k are the same. So they have like the same names and the same rules. Like, I, thought, I thought the idea was that they were the same. Alright, uh... Yeah, but, like, they, they, it, it's so like up in the air, like it, it, they, whatever connection there is, if there is one, just keeps changing all the time. Mel, sorry, you're up. <sighs> Decisions. Alright, so he's got two golem-looking things with him. There's the one that escorted you, and there's a statue behind him that's starting to animate. I see. Oh, it's very artistic. Can I roll something to be able to determine if they're actually the things that we need to decommission? Um, you may roll Arcana at disadvantage, as you didn't really know what these things were earlier. That's a 16. Alright. Um, you can surmise that if they're trapped, uh, like if they're run by trapped elementals, they may be, uh, that they're likely to be, like the, what they're trapped in is likely to be something that could encase their, you know, their body, their, their element. So the, the metal one. Since it's not entirely metal, there are other other bits. Uh, is likely just a, a just a construct, not a golem. Whereas the statue is fully stone, and since it's worked stone, would likely be able to contain a stone elemental. Stone and not air. Uh, correct. I'm just gonna hit him with a ray of frost. Alright, <clears throat> roll your attack. 16. Alright, let me check something, because I need to know what his class is. Um, AC is on average. Alright, um... Uh, what'd you get? Sorry. Uh, 16. That hits. Uh. So please roll damage. 10 cold damage. And 10 cold damage. He is... Speed is reduced by 10 feet until the start of my next turn. Okay. That's what it is. Uh, and mm. just take a step back. Okay. Aurelion, you're up. Uh, Tristan, would you mind starting some battle music? I do. Uh, let me just see. Uh, okay, let's see. I'm going to move here and prepare uh, an action to attack uh, any of the enemies if they 
come within range of my rapier. Alright, one second. Okay. Ow, your turn. I want to shoot the one that's already been attacked. Okay, you may do so, but I'll have half cover from the from Dirk and the shield golem being in the way. Twenty-six. Okay. Twenty-six. Alright, anything else? Oh wait, that was the hit, not the damage. The, um, yeah, that hits, sorry. Please roll damage uh, with sneak attack. Stay. What? Apparently, we're attacking the one that we know is okay. I mean, I don't think either any of you guys, other than me, know which one is okay. The one that is walking with us? Yeah, we know that one's okay. She told us it doesn't have an elemental soul in it. Oh. Or she heavily implied it. Yeah, she said, I can't Good make word, anything that, like that. that. I can only make this. Gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Besides, um... Uh, and they actually, they're not attacking that. They're attacking the, the gnome. Oh, okay. I attacked the gnome. Yeah, definitely I'm gnome. mad at him. So, Ash, please roll damage with the sneak attack. Working on it, sorry. Twenty-two. Twenty-two points of damage? Yep. Alright, he will take that. Uh, let me check the, the Shield Guardian stat block. Uh, okay. Next is... Uh, unless there's something else you want to do, Al? Okay, then please roll stealth. something to do that. Okay. Leave your hidden. Eskel, your turn. Okay, I'm going to move 
If that little gnome wants to try and smack me, he can. He will not. Okay. I am going to cast Divine Favor. And I'm going to twin it on to uh, uh, Aurelion. Aurelion and who? Uh, Dirk. Okay. Uh, anything else? Uh, yeah, then I'm gonna move back. Um, but, so I move over there so that I can touch both of them. Actually, let me double check. This is, uh, actually it says range self. So I guess I ha it has to be me and one other person. Um, what, I mean, what's the words of Runs of Benefit, Benefit say exactly? Uh, da 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 Whenever you use a holy symbol to cast a spell to, ben to benefit others, you may target an extra creature. Yeah. Alright, that's what I thought. So yeah, a self spell wouldn't work in this case, because it, it can only target you. There's not a way for it to target someone else. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Then I'll just put Shield of Faith on both of them instead, in which case I don't have to move. Okay. And then would you like to use your action for something? Uh, yeah, that is a bonus action, isn't it? Alright, um, yes, I would like to use my action, uh, to use my channel divinity. Okay. And I'm going to use sacred weapon. So that, uh, now my rapier, uh, for the next minute, is considered magical, and has plus three on attack rolls and emits bright light. Okay. That's it. I just need to... Do... Okay, who's next? Dirk. Okay. Dirk, you're up. Okay. Uh, I am going to use my channel divinity to cast Vow of Enmity on the gnome. Okay. Uh, I just want to mark it down. Okay. Uh, so that will give me advantage against him. And I am going to swing. Is it only a bonus action to use Vow of Enmity? Uh, Vow of Enmity is a bonus action, yeah. Okay. Uh, Abjure Enemy is a, uh, a full action, but... I, the, it wasn't... The character sheet in Beyond doesn't tell you that. Or at least doesn't tell you that in a way that I could clearly see, which is obnoxious. Oh no, yeah, it's less than a bonus action. Okay, cool. It's just organized in a weird way. Uh, yeah, and then I swing it up. Okay. Uh, the first one is the crit. I second level smite. Okay. I should probably stop working on this character sheet, because I don't think it's going to matter. That is a 20 and a 16 on my dice. That was a fun roll. Um... <laughs> Okay, so I'll do the uh, mundane damage first, I suppose. It's going to be 4d6. <laughs> Three rolling ones and twos, which is good because that was three of my uh, my rolls. Um, which became, the two ones became two fives, and the two became a three. So, nice. Uh, 10, 19, um... That's going to be 23 non-magical bludgeoning damage. Uh, and... How much? Sorry? Uh, 23 non-magical bludgeoning damage. And then a second level smite is how many d8s? Uh, it's 3 by default, so it's 6 in total. Okay. Uh, these I will just have to roll twice. Uh, that is going to be 16, 20, 28 points of radiant damage. <laughs> so it's 23, More than 50 28, <laughs> so 40, 51, 73, 83. Let me... I see what his hit points even come out to. 
I do have a second attack. <laughs> uh, you do, uh, and you will need it. He is bloody, but he's not down. Okay. I take my second attack, uh, which unfortunately is not a crit. That's a, an 11 and a 17 on dice. So that's going to be a uh, 24. 22. 22, yeah. I can math. No, 23. I plus 7. Oh, okay. 23 you, to hit. You have plus 7? I mean, that would be a 24. Then it's a 24. I can math. <laughs> what is happening over there? I, uh, poor math. Wow. <laughs> well, remember that you have plus 2 AC. And Aurelion, remember that you have plus 2 AC. Uh, does a 24 hit? Um... Yeah, uh, of 24 hits. Okay. Uh, I'm going to second level smite. Uh, so the non-magical damage is going to be 16 non-magical bludgeoning damage. Okay. And the smite is going to be 13 points of radiant damage. That was a lot. That was <laughs> okay. Who's up next? Golem. Okay. your bludgeoning damage against the outside of that thing. Oh, look kind it's do it's gonna do its breath. Oh dear. Five ten twenty twenty-five thirty 35, I think. What's this move speed? Okay, so I can't quite move there. I can move here, though. This is uncomfortable. Uh, and it's going to slow uh, the three of you that are within 10 feet of it. So I need a uh, wisdom saving throw. Heat. Uh, that is a 21. You pass. I got a 20. You pass. Fuck. I got an 8. You do not pass. You fail. <sighs> uh, I failed save. A target cannot use reactions. Its speed is half. It cannot make more than one attack on its turn. In addition, the target can take either an action or a bonus action on its turn, not both. This effect lasts for one minute. Uh, a target can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of its turns, ending the effect on itself on success. Okay. Alright, next is him. Let me see here. Um, do they? Oh, they don't. You guys are lucky. That's concerning. Well, I was gonna have him cast uh, Dimension Door, but he doesn't get Dimension Door. So, uh, he is going to cast a spell. Uh, you're out of counter spells, right? I am. Alright. And he's going to start flying away. 
Uh, you may make an attack of opportunity, both Dirk and Eskel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, God damn it, that's a 19 and an 11. Uh, I don't. That'll hit. I, uh, I, I crit. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> I'm assuming. Do you want to go first? Oh I don't think the uh, reduced speed's going to matter here, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably accurate. Esco, go first. Okay. Uh, let's see. On a crit with my rape here, I do double d8s plus three. And my spell slots are available at two. So let's just do that. So uh, he's going to be taking uh, 8d8s worth of damage. Uh, nice. You have a third level spell slot? No. Uh, it's, rapier I, is the eighth, so yeah. it's double. Oh, right, right, right. So the rapier is going to deal nice. Uh, 13, 16 points of magical piercing damage. Okay. And then it's... If 13... Uh, nice. A 21, 29, 32 points of radiant damage. 32 and 16, correct? Yes. So... I rolled 3 8s on 6 D8s for the radiant damage. Nice. Comet guides your smite. Um, should I be rolling? Uh, I'm... One second. The way I was lowering his HP is no more working, so one second. Mm -hmm. So it was 32 for that. Mm-hmm. It was 16 for that. Yep. Magical boost. Um, yes, you need to roll, Dirk. Okay. I'm going to first level smite. Okay. He is super bloody, just so you know. I'm first level smiting. Okay. I assume with much, but I give you the information. Got a lot of HP for such uh, a little guy. That is going to be... Um, give him tough. What do you want? It's going to be 14... Uh, non-magical bludgeoning damage. Oh, um, also he stops flying. Yeah, right. And, um, 13 radiant damage. So, what, how much is the physical? Uh, 14 and then 13. Oh, what a DC okay. 24 con check. So, he starts to fly, and then gets, um, hit from behind, kind of goes flying into this house and kind of flats. He gets stuck on the rapier, which explodes in him. It, like, shocks him a bit, and then I come in with the maul and just knock him off of it. Yeah. So, <laughs> ask something up, you knock him down. <laughs> just so, uh, yeah. him, he's, like... he's dead as dicks. I guess I don't need to worry about what he's doing. Um, I think I'm dead, dead. Uh, I, mean, I I killed him. Okay. Well, that was gross and unfortunate. Well, I guess I don't need to make this anymore. He's awful far away for someone who got dead as dicks. Well, he got knocked over there from the mall. But that's just for, for funsies. Ah, I see. Mechanically, he would have been right where he... he yeah. Well, actually, he could have run if he was alive, but... Mechanically, his body should be here, but, you know, funsies. Uh, Alright, well, now i got to remove the character. I think that was a good use of my vow of enmity. Yeah. I think that was the first time I actually used it. <laughs> yep. It, it was a good use. Just gotta, yeah. Delete this real quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, like, even if he'd been a little nicer about it... <laughs> If you hadn't I mean, called Eskel a fucking turd. <laughs> I mean, A, he's a drow, what do you expect? And B, okay. and okay. B, you guys were offering to either kill him or let him die. That, those were, you guys weren't exactly giving him any type of choice here. You were offering to kill him, let him die, or help him survive. Uh, help him survive was the let him die option. That, like, that no, would no, no. have gotten him killed. Guaranteed. The way he sees it, but he was wrong. Not really. You guys can't protect a thousand people for you nine can. days. I mean, collectively, they're protecting themselves reasonably well. We additionally them. 
It works out. Alright, so next this thing goes. Alright, uh huh, uh huh. And it's going to make. I don't actually. Let me look at the lore of this thing, because I don't know if it would actually act without the Prussian wheeling its amulet there. I don't think they do. I don't think they do either, which would help the CR of this situation. Oh. If anything, it would like move towards its. Uh board As it didn't receive orders to defend him, uh, I'm going to actually just remove this thing from combat because it's not going to do anything. I wish she had said that he was her friend. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, so the good news uh, is that now to... we get to, without being fucked around with by anything else, figure out how to destroy this thing and get its, uh, get its, uh, elemental spirit out. I'm, I'm gonna do very poorly at that. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you. Ah. <laughs> uh, no, sorry? You're up. Alright. I know nothing pretty much about... Well... Okay, having reasoned out that it's probably an earth elemental trapped in a golem form. You gonna shatter it? Well, I'm... I wanna see if I can determine... Because I know that we talked about lightning being useful, but it doesn't make sense to me that lightning would be particularly useful against an earth construct -y thing. So... Is is that logical? Should I roll to determine if that's logical? Well, if this is the Tao, we could have other problems. My question still stands. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can roll to know uh, if you think lightning would be effective against it. Or any other particular resistance is what, um, what should I specifically be rolling? Uh, yeah, Arcana. That's better. 20. Alright. Then I will give you its condition and damage immunities. Uh -huh. It is immune to poison, psychic, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing uh, from non magical attacks that are not an adamant time. Uh, condition immunities charmed, exhaustion, frightened, paralyzed, petrified, and poisoned. His and it also gives it senses. As dark vision out to 120 feet. Too far. Okay, so it's immune to poison, slashing, piercing, bludgeoning from non magical. I will post it in chat. How about that? That's probably better. Any resistances? Nope. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm just gonna ray of frost this bitch. Okay. Make your attack. Alex. Fifteen. Miss. Of course. Alright, well, I can't do anything other than, uh... Wait, can I move? My move is nope. reduced by... In half. I, I mean, I, it's at least... I know it's reduced by half, I'm not sure if you can... They get a bonus action or an order. So you can still move, but you can only move at half speed. Okay. I guess I shouldn't be in the bush. 
Um, my allies don't. Do they give it cover in this edition? I forgot already. Um, they would normally, but this thing is tall, so it's stuck above them. Okay, they should top half without hitting your friends. Okay. If it was a medium-sized creature, yeah, then yeah. it would have cover. It would have half cover from allies. Or some large creatures that are tall too. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh right, wisdom saving throw. That's the other thing. Yep. Motherfucker. <laughs> Did you get a nine? Are you at least like going up? No. Well, maybe ten. I don't remember what my last one was. Your last one was eight, so it is higher. Great. All right. Uh, next up, Aurelion. So, why have I noticed this thing do? Just move. It has moved, and it has uh, kind of. It's. I'm going. What would it be like? I'm going to see if there's any description for it. Does it? There's not. So it has let up this kind of aura of um, slowing creatures down, as you've seen Malsari you know, moving as quickly as she can, but still very slowly. Yes, there is urgency in my face, but my body is like. You look, I look like I'm moving through molasses. I guess. Or like through deep water. Anyway. But you were, we were told earlier that they have immunity to, like, non-magical weapons. Or at least resistance. I mean, you Wait, know they're immune I... to non-magical. Yes. But I believe it was, it was, if not specifically said heavily implied during the conversation, that they're not going uh, damage from... The, uh, the creator of these things that said they were immune to even magical weapons, but you don't believe that to be true. Let me just check. I'm going to turn to Dirk, because he's right beside me, and just go, uh, what are we doing about this thing? Destroying it if we can, to release the spirit. Which I'm just going to look down at the, um, just the rapier in my hand and go, like, I don't think I'm going to be much help. It takes an hour to attune weapons, right? Yep. Uh, I'm going to dodge. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Ow. You're up. Al is typing. I will be their voice. Okay, make the attack roll. And oh, right, there's a threat sore. Al is trying to shoot it. Uh, and don't forget you have events during the attack roll uh, because you're hidden. That will hit, and as you hit, the arrow will break upon impact, causing no uh, discernible damage. Uh, Eskel, you're up. I'm up. Let me see this.
Okay. Oh. I should be the what's in the chat is what Melisari told us, right? Yes. Okay. Maybe. Yes. If you want to have said that, you can. Cool. cool. That is a uh, whopping 14 to hit. That will miss. Yes. And uh, 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 an 8. That will also miss. I love being the only you, one who can do damage and you, I can't you, hit. You can't, hey now. you can't miss this thing. The only melee person who can do something about it. I know. It's gonna be fun. You've got my 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 uh, shield though, so you know, make sure to block for me. Oh yeah, no, that's what I'm intending to do. Okay. Well, <laughs> like, I can uh, put myself in the way. Yeah. Uh, oh, by the way, what direction is the armor flowing at the moment? Um, I don't think we ever changed it. Oh yeah, I've never changed it. It's always damage from him comes to me. From me. From you comes from her comes to me. Sorry, for some reason I thought really in it all of a sudden. I guess because it was on uh, uh, on his character last time. Brain's not working. Yeah. Anyway, I, I missed all my attacks. It's my turn. All right, Dirk, you're up. Okay, I move to here. Uh huh. Um. Now, the real question: Do I cast divine favor? so that I can get a whopping potential 2d4 per round. <laughs> I mean, that is way better than nothing. It is. <clears throat> I think I'm I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to cast divine favor. Do you not know like magic weapon or anything? No. Bummer. Uh, I don't think there's a paladin spell, is it? I, I mean, I, I, I have it. But... Got it. I have Sacred Weapon, which makes my weapon magic. Right, he was asking the spell magic weapon. Oh. Uh, it's a paladin spell. It's a second level spell, though. Um, Are you out of those? Uh, yeah, I am. But also, I I will tomorrow prepare that one. But, uh... Yeah. I am going to attack it. Okay. Does a... Does a 12 hit? Um, like, did you cast Divine Favor first? Yes. Okay, Which is a bonus action. Alright, I'll just make sure. Um, that is a miss. Does a 13 hit? <laughs> Remember no, all those crits? Well, and how we couldn't miss earlier? Yeah. I don't have advantage anymore. <laughs> yeah, I know. Which is funny, because this is the thing that, like, we properly need to kill. Yeah. Yeah, but I... I mean, he needed to go too, because he was just going to try and make more. Yeah, he, he needed to die first. I do not regret that decision. I mean, okay, you're really uh, going to make more if some got destroyed. That is that is my turn. And some are about to got destroyed. Uh, Alright, this guy... Yeah, this one will move up and make one attack against Eskel. Uh, that's a crit. So, um, this is going to hurt. Uh-oh. Damn it. Uh, please take 32 points of bludgeoning damage. Well, I made my concentration check. That's impressive. <laughs> Got an 18 oh, on a DC 16. And then it's going to make one against Dirk. Which I believe that's a miss. I have the AC currently. Yeah, oh, and I forgot you didn't dodge. So, uh, 13. So yeah, that's a miss. Next up, Melisari. Do you need to make concentration checks when you cast the spells on other people? Is that just a different thing? It's if I cast it on myself. No, no, no. Oh, okay. he, he is right. Uh, like uh, Dirk's right. It's if you cast it solely on other people. Oh, uh, really? Then I didn't yep. need to make that. Well, still, you made it. <laughs> All right, Mel, sorry, you're up. All right, which of these has been giving me trouble? I think both of them have, but that's okay. We'll try. It. We'll try this one. I'm going to 
attempt a ray of frost again. Okay. Water fucker. <laughs> Botch. <laughs> Woo! All right. Um. Five Aurelion. missed attacks. Five missed attacks. Shut up! I still need to um. All right. Do make my, a save. Uh, save. Um. I just want to use my pre press. No, never mind. I'm not going to. I will roll. I lied. Oh my god, seriously? Now? 24. Mm. Alright, you succeed. You. <laughs> By the way, what are your, um, the rolls you have available at the moment? I just have an 8. Mm. Well, which I intend to use on that thing's next attack. Be a good call. Alright, uh, Aurelion, your turn. Yeah, wait a minute. We're not using on that crit. <laughs> Shit. I can't. She can't pick afterwards. Yeah, mechanically speaking, anyway. Not yet. If we actually follow the rules. So, uh, Thomas. Yeah. Uh, still can't do anything. I'm going to stay here and continue dodging. Okay. Ow. They're typing. All right, you dodge. Are you, yeah, I was gonna, are you dodging? Cool. You're up. Cool. Let's see here. to put it in not I am going to use the last nine points of my lay on hands okay Bop. and uh, what action is it Because it's an action to change the bond of warding. So, yep. Not doing that. I am going to attack it. Okay. 17 to hit. That'll hit. Cool. You managed to find purchase in the stone. Surprising given your piercing weapon. Ha 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 ha. Because it's magic, that's why. Indeed. Uh, we're gonna blow one of these and smite it. So it's gonna take nine points of magical piercing damage. Okay. And twelve points of radium damage. All right, it takes the full damage. And then I'm going to attack it. All right. For another 17. I'll hit. Take 8 points of magical piercing damage. Uh huh. And. 5 points of radiant damage. Alright. Anything else? Oh, that's it. Dirk. Okay. Uh, how hurt does Eskel look still? Uh, below bloody. Okay. Uh, I am going to use some land hands on you. Thank you. Uh, I have ten left. I'm going to use nine. That way I can keep one to bring someone up. Uh, so you get nine. I am above bloody. Cool. Um...
I'm good standing where I am. Yeah, I'm good standing where I am. Uh, so that's me. All right, uh, Stone Golem goes. It will make an attack against Eskul. It will miss. It will make an attack against Dirk. Eight. Eight. Oh, bait. Yeah. Sorry. I was trying to call it out for Eskul, but it missed anyway, so whatever, I guess. All right, so you call it out for Dirk? Yeah. All right. Uh, Hopefully it misses still. It, it will make the attack miss. Feel free to describe how you um, advise Dirk. No, how does it look like it's coming in? Can I tell him to duck? <laughs> oh, um, step left. Now. <laughs> I don't know. All right, all right. Uh, we can skip that. Uh, <laughs> so it. Um, well, sorry. Return. Broke, don't fix it, but it is broke. But I'm still not gonna fix it. I'm gonna just ray frost again. Okay. You just rolled a 19. The fuck is this shit? Uh, that's a 10. In total? Yes. Oof. Yes. You gotta love losing the monsters because you just can't roll above a 10. <laughs> uh, do you have any inspiration? I do. As of right now, I don't feel threatened enough to... Well... I'm just reminding you. You can do what you want. I'm told I look good in bruises. Yeah, that that's my hesitation. Alright, fine. What do I get to do with the inspiration? Re -roll. You spend it, and you get to re-roll and take the higher result. Crit. Nice. That, that will be a good use of inspiration. Yeah, it does. How does crit affect spells, or does it? Uh, uh with it, it works the same way. You double the number of damage dice. Beautiful. And Ray of Ross doesn't have any static modifier, but uh, if it did, then you just wouldn't double that. An Eleven damage. I did not roll well. Eleven, like did? Really? Only eleven? Only 11. I rolled shit. I rolled a 1, a 2, a 5, and a 7. Oof. Sorry, a 1, a 3, a 5, and a 7. Alright, no. uh, it takes the full damage. Whatever. I hit those prime numbers. Um, uh, and, yeah, full damage reduced by 10 feet until it's starting my next turn. One, three, two, and five. That's what it was. All four, right. Three, five. Yeah, prime numbers. Aurelion. Uh, just one second. Uh, uh, when you help someone. Um, in combat, are you helping the next person up, or can you help a specific person? Uh, you can help a specific person. Well, more accurately, you help with a specific action. Yes, but in combat, if you're helping someone attack a target, can you help a specific person? We, we usually say that aid another in combat for getting attack advantage means you go and fuck with the monster directly by being adjacent to it and doing that and it gives the next person to attack advantage. Yep. Yeah, that's that's what I was asking. But I mean okay. nobody's attacking until the next person anyway who can attack it. Then what? Yeah, but uh, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. It's okay. That's what I was Okay, because I completely forgot that helping was a thing that I could do. So I am going to go in and just start fucking around somehow. Okay. You try and uh, get its attention. Uh, do the distraction dance. Dipshit. 
Um, Al, what would you like to do? The um, help action uh, does this. It, it says if your ally attacks the target before the next turn, before your next turn, the first attack roll is made with it. Mm. Yeah, that's weirdly worded. It's always been weirdly worded. Since you aid a friendly creature in attacking a creature within five feet of you. Okay, I was dodging. Eskel, you're up. Uh, I attacked it... it with advantage thanks to the distraction dance that Aurelion is doing. And I rolled a 19 instead of a 20. I mean, you'll still hit. Yeah, that's true. Alright. Gonna be ten points of non -ma of magical piercing damage. Okay. And roll again and hope for a twenty. I did not. I miss. All right. Anything else? Nope. All right. Dirk, you're up. Uh, okay. I am going to... Hold my last spell slot until I crit. <laughs> I'm gonna move to here, I think. Mm -hmm. To help box it in. Uh, and... Swing at it. That is a twenty-four when it's AC. Nice. That'll hit. Okay, I do one point of radiant damage. <laughs> Better than zero points. And then I swing right. again, getting a an eighteen on its AC. That'll hit. And doing. One point <laughs> of radiant damage. <laughs> All right, it takes one point. I'm gonna use a different D4. The D4 is angry. Uh, that is my turn. All right, um, this thing goes. It will make a swing. Um, did you move through Astle to get to there? Uh, yes. Alright, just make sure. So the words we've got the, you know, attack yeah, opportunity yeah. and all that. So it's going to make a swing at Aurelion. And this, it's going to make a swing at Dirk. At least I assume has a miss. Uh, Aurelion, what's your AC? Uh, do I still have that thing on? What's yes. Best? Plus so two. 18. Alright, then yeah, it's a miss. Uh, an attack against Dirk, also a miss. No, sorry. Tremble, tremble. Alright. Are you, like, completely out of spell slots or something? I technically have two, but... There are many other things I could do with those, and the day is not over. Fair enough. So... Alright. That's 14. Hit. Yeah. That'll miss. Yeah. Aurelion, what would you like to do? Oh, did you I... make your wisdom save? Uh, she already made it last time. Cool. 
Oh, that reminds me. I might be next time just your weapon, your weapon, Dirk. <laughs> this is why we do these things. We figure these things out. Yeah. Uh. Can you sacred weapon someone else's weapon? Yeah, just as I sacred weapon a weapon. Oh, okay. Imbue a weapon is considered magical. Uh, you can end the effect if you are no longer holding the weapon. There's the gotcha. You can end the effect, or it does end the effect? Oh, uh, yeah, so uh, you can end this effect on your turn as part of any other action. If you are no longer holding or carrying this weapon, or if you fall unconscious, this effect ends. So uh, you could not use it on... On, uh... Me. Ah, uh, you have to open up the more complete description, because the wording of the short description makes it sound like you can choose to end it even if you're not holding it, not that it automatically ends if you're not holding it. Uh, yeah, there's just, there's a period, and then it's another sentence that should probably read, this effect ends if you are no longer holding or carrying this weapon, or if you fall unconscious. Instead yeah, of but it, in the small description on my character sheet, there isn't a period there, it's a comma. It says you can oh. end this as part of any other action, comma, if you are no longer hang it, holding the weapon, comma, or if you fall unconscious, period. <laughs> like, it has a completely different meaning if you don't yeah, open up the, the complete wrong. description. Ah. Uh. Avrilion, what, what are you doing? I'm uh, uh, helping again. Okay, Al, what are you doing? Uh, okay. They yeah, they begin. Uh, taking the minute to turn into cloud form. Uh, yep, yep. Okay. Um, Eskel, you're up. Cool. I shall continue attacking. Uh, did he aid again? He did. Yep. Attack with advantage. <clears throat> and do not crit, but I got a 17. That'll hit. Going to take eight points of magical piercing damage. I'm going to attack again. And score 25, but still not a crit. That'll hit. It's going to take the four points of magical piercing. Oof. Yay. Minimized. Uh, death of a thousand cuts. Let's do this. <laughs> it's how we're Don't doing know. this. Um, Dirk, you're up. Okay. I'm gonna take a swing. Uh, I believe that a 10 misses. It will miss. I'm gonna take another swing. Uh, I believe that a 26 will hit. It will. Okay, let's use this d4. I will give you th four guesses to figure out what I rolled. Uh, one. one. It's a one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Steve War is also going into the bin. <laughs> All right. I don't love these. <laughs> oh. Goes up. Man, that's, that slow does not want to recharge. I'm happy about that. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to roll that well on the wisdom save next time. <laughs> All right. Um... So it makes one swing at Dirk. Miss. One swing at Eskel. Miss. This thing will not roll above a 10. Death by a thousand cuts! Welcome to the rest of our worlds. So far, it hasn't rolled above a 7, except for that crit earlier. It just really wants this fight to take a while. Ah, <laughs> uh, Mel, sorry. Blast it. All of our die are, uh conspiring against us. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't we're, care uh, all that much. Another ray of frost. It just doesn't care all that much. Okay. That we much better. That's a 20. 
All right, you hit. And that's a nine damage. Nice. Cold. It takes nine points of damage. Uh, and that's that's it. That's all she wrote. All right, Aurelion, I assume you're helping again. Yep. Al is doing their thing. Eskel. All right, roll with advantage. I still don't crit, but I got an 18. <laughs> okay, that'll hit. That's going to be 8 points of magical piercing damage. I attack again. I still don't crit, but I got a 19. <laughs> okay. Uh, it'll be 10 points of magical piercing. Okay. It takes that, and it's bloody. Boom. Hey! <laughs> Cool. I've only got five rounds of magic weapon left. It'll be great. It'll be fine. Uh, Dirk, you're up. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm we definitely need to adjust the weapon situation. <laughs> uh, that is a 22. That'll hit. Let me see. And that's going to be a one. <laughs> All right. Uh, roll your regular damage, please. My regular damage. Yes. Uh, that would be 15. Alright. Uh, as its armor has cracked from being uh, blooding, uh, your regular damage goes through. Yay! So that's 16 in total. 15 for the, the mall and one for the radiant. Yep. I'm going to swing again. Okay. Uh, for 25. All right, that'll hit. Fuck you, Divine Favor. Fuck you very much. <laughs> still a one? Uh, yep, still a one. <laughs> I need some new D4s. So that'll be, that'll be, uh, um, 12 non-magical bludgeoning damage. Did you remember to blow on him first? Damage. <laughs> Hmm? So did you remember to blow on him first? Uh, I haven't. I should go shove one in the cat's face. Uh, it cannot slow again, so it's going to take a swing at uh, Eskel. Hello. Uh, 22 to hit. Let's see. What's my AC right now? 21. What's going to hit? Uh, please take 19 points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, magical bludgeoning damage. My bad. I am still up. Bloodied again. Alright, it makes a second attack against Eskel. Why? It's been splitting its attacks before now. Um, it crit. I repeat, why did it change its tactics all of a sudden? Because it's striking randomly. It's just been luck that it's been splitting the attacks so far. All right, well, I'm very, very incredibly dead. Because I'm at, like, negative 25 HP, which is more than bloodied. Please take 18 points of bludgeoning damage instead. Still very dead. Alright. So you are down. Well, sorry, cries out. Alright. Uh, next up, well, sorry. Uh, that's the top of the order, and it's after um, normal stopping time. Uh, Thomas, do you need to go? Or could you uh, yeah. stick around? No, I... I... I, I have to find to out next time what happens. Alright.
Well then, I guess that's where we'll be ending it for today. Bum, 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 bum. Well, this is not good. Got this. Regular damage is going through again. Yeah, you'll yep. be fine. If the tail were there, none of this would have happened. It's true. None of this <laughs> ever happens when Kale's around. Well, I mean, you wouldn't have, you likely wouldn't have saved the, the person in the first place, so you just wouldn't have had this problem to deal with. True. They've just been going on without you knowing, causing more problems. <laughs> Somebody else's problems. <laughs>